when we talk about the problem no doubt our focus is upon the expectations and the actual outcomes and the difference between expectation and actual outcome is going to be the problem and we have to see that what type of problem it is we have to classify the problem so that hum uske bare mein appropriate decision making wo kar sake now when talking about the problem remember it is very important for us to understand ke business environment wo kaisi hai jis pe hame decision making karni hai there is a very famous quote by peter f drucker and he said that whenever you see a successful business someone might have done a courageous decision ek aisa decision ke jis se risk taking bhi hai jis mein risk taking bhi hai jis mein outcomes bhi hain aur jis mein ek courage involved hai jis courage ke tahat hi hum cheezon ko appropriately positively wo materialize kar sakte hain because remember in everyday perspective couple of times hame bahut courageous decisions wo lene padte hain sometimes we have to take risk sometimes the environment is not appropriate and conducive sometimes mahol hamare afadiyat aur hamare maqasad ke liye operatable nahi hota so un tamam perspectives mein hame sirf consistent nahi rehna balki hame persistent bhi rehna hai and there is no doubt ke consistency and persistence mein the major difference is of the resistance so we have to be very much careful ke hamara jo persistent attitude hai us attitude se kis tarah se hum right, rightful outcomes wo hasil kar sakte hain therefore remember ke courage enthusiasm involvement emotional intelligence or leadership perspectives ye tamam tar hame required honge jab kabhi bhi hum organizational facility ke andar decision making ki baat wo karte hain now talking about the classifications there are different classifications that we need to focus upon and those classifications can be elaborated in the following fashion in the classification perspective the first factor is that truly generic events of which the individual occurrences is only a symptom so hame ye dekhna padega ki wo problem kya generically evolved and involved hai ki wo problem is is developing out of some unforeseen content unforeseen event or suddenly that problem is generated which is unique in its nature the second classification is that the second type of occurrence is the problem which while a unique event for the individual institution is actually generic and that is basically the concern ke jahan par hum unique event ki baat kar rahe hain focused upon the organizational facility rather than ke hum kisi generic event ko wo consider kare the third most important thing is next there is a truly exceptional event that the executive must distinguish ab yahan par jo hamara degree aa raha hai that is more superlative we are talking about exceptional event rather than just a unique perspective because this exceptional event mein no doubt jo circumstances honge wo utne hi zyada critical aur utne hi zyada significant honge the fourth classification is that the early manifestation of the new generic problem and that is something जो कि विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड कि किस तरीके से चीजें इवॉल्व करती हैं और हमें उनको किस तरीके से टैकल अप वो करना चाहिए डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव जस्ट गॉन थ्रू द डिफरेंट क्लासिफिकेशन वी हैव सीन दैट समटाइम्स देर आर जेनेरिक इशूज समटाइम्स देर आर यूनिक इशूज एंड समटाइम्स देर कैन बी एक्सेप्शनल इशूज एंड वी हैव टू बी केयरफुल कि जब हम डिसीजन मेकिंग करें तो हमें ये बात का अंदाज इस बात का अंदाजा हो कि हमारा डिसीजन और हमारा प्रॉब्लम की जो एलेबोरेशन है वो किस क्लासिफिकेशन में किस क्राइटेरिया के तहत इवॉल्व वो कर रही है अगर हम इस सारी बात को कंक्लूड करें तो याद रखिएगा कि डिसीजन मेकिंग इज ए वेरी टेक्निकल एंड वेरी सेंसिटिव फिनोमिना हमें प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग प्रोसेस से गुजरते हुए फाइनल आउटकम एंड डिसीजन की तरफ वो जाना होता है एंड वी हैव टू बी केयरफुल कि किस किस्म की प्रॉब्लम है और उसके लिए किस तरह का डिसीजन हमारे लिए ज्यादा फिजिबल होगा दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड Thank you.